Oh, we are live. We are live. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, nobody in the building yet. I don't care. We got some breaking news. Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Emergency surgery. I'm not sure if it's emergency surgery, but Julius Randle will be out for the rest of the season, according to Adrian Wojnarowski. Nick fans, our worst, our worst nightmare, worst possibility has happened. Our guy, Julius Randle, is out for the season. I know I'm wearing my Yankee jersey, right? I was supposed to have the Yankees morning brew. Right before I was about to start is when the news broke when it comes to Adrian Wojnarowski. I'm going to bring it up on the screen right now. I'm waiting for my guy, Celso. It, literally, emergency. Um, after two months of rehab, rehabilitation, to attempt a return to the New York Knicks, all NBA forward Julius Randle will undergo season-ending right shoulder surgery, sources tell ESPN. And like I said, Nick fans, this is our worst-case scenario. The worst-case scenario is here. Celso, break the glass. Hit the emergency button. We are in desperate times, and desperate times call for desperate measures. Celso, talk to me, because we were backstage for the Yankee show, getting ready, before the news broke. Talk to me, bestie. You know, it, it's. Uh, I feel like you start a show with positivity in the morning, and I really want to stay in that positivity, but then this came out, bro. Like, yeah, I feel like it's that moment, because we talked about it on the next morning brew yesterday, right? It's like... You felt like you were getting close to the end of the rope with how many mm -hmm. games were left, how much time was left, how much time we all think as fans Julius needs as a rhythm player to get in his groove. Yeah. The rope ran out, man. The rope ran out. You know, it's just if you – I think I go back to what we said before, heck. If you knew that mm -hmm. this was really the route it was going to go, why did you wait so long? Yeah. But maybe it was one of those things, you know, see how far we can ride and see if we get him back. But now it's official, bro. I'm sorry, Julius. Ju, Listen, I, I, I know. Put my 30 jersey on for weeks, man. For Get months. the jersey. Put the jersey on right now, bro. If <laughs> anything, sure. listen. When it comes down to it, um, we wanted Julius Randle to come back, right? He couldn't get things ready to go, right? So it's good that yes, we would have rather the surgery happen in January. It happened right now in April. This type of surgery, just from looking at the different timelines, it's at minimum a six month recovery time. Julius Randle was going to be out not only for the rest of this season and the postseason, but the beginning of next season. So this is something the New York Knicks are going to have to deal with over the next six to eight months when it comes to his recovery and when it comes to his time. And we got 130 people in the building with us right now. Folks, smack the like button, hit the share button. Help get us out to more upset. Knicks fans so we can have this conversation. My guy Anthony Rivera said he must have felt fine in light workouts, but in heavy workouts and contact, it just wasn't happening. Absolutely. My guy Julian Blum said it perfectly. Damn, 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 and thank you, ma'am. I added the thank you, ma'am, at the end of it, <laughs> but damn, Julian Blum had to hit us with the Kevin Hart. My guy Dripmore said, down Thursday, salute Nick's morning brew. Dripmore, salute to you, my guy. We need some positivity uh, right now. My guy Ralphie Martinez is in the building. We need Randall ready for next season. Ralphie, my guy, a positive silver lining is what we need at this moment. TC still says New York sports, they doesn't deserve this. Absolutely. Especially when it comes to the New York uh, Knicks. Because in that month of January, Celso, we look like the best team in the NBA. And now, not only is OG and Anobi out, but Julius Randle is done for the season. Will we ever see OG? Bro, I mean, it, it kind of concerns me, right? Because now, again, now it's just another thing that makes you start thinking crazy. It's like, wait, did they announce the surgery? Because they also know, hey, OG's not coming back. We're not going to have the full squad. It is what it is. But we talked about it, right? We saw we saw the team and the media get, get the talking points Everybody with Josh stick. Hart. What happened? Yo, shout out to Razil the Great in the chat. Hey. What is this? Let's go, Chinkies. Razil the Great. <laughs> Even like, though you a it. Heat you fan, at, my guy. Even though you a Heat fan, you coming in at the perfect timing, my guy. Because Julius Randle is out for the rest of the season with a surgery. 
He said, what is going on in Bing Bong? You know land, what's bro. going on, That's what I'm trying to figure out. We know That's what's what going on. To figure out, Raziel. All right, your Miami Heat just hurts everybody. Oh, man. Everybody. Look, CM, I've been saying it. I said we needed Morris as insurance. Celso, I've been saying it. I said we should have went out there when we should have got Marquise Morris. We needed that backup for Julius Randle. We needed that enforcer coming off the bench. And now at the 11 o'clock hour, right before 12 midnight, we get the news that Randle was out for the season. And now OG, what is OG doing? Julian Blum said OG is baking soft biscuits to put on his <laughs> elbow. I don't know what OG is doing, but we desperately need OG and Anobi back. And where is Eddie Presti when we need him? Can somebody call Eddie because Eddie doesn't want to pick up the phone because he was up in Twitter spaces all last night. Oh, Wake look, up, DJ, Eddie. We need you. DJ Star Vibes already starting. Look, honestly, we need to trade him. Back-to-back -back seasons hurt, and we need him. I'm not ready to have that conversation, DJ Star. Okay. Let, can we just accept the pain of this moment of what it is? Stop, oh, coach. Man. Everybody, oh, Joe, I've been telling you guys OG is going to play in the playoffs and Randall isn't. Hey, that's why we kept saying, right? We need a mixture of Mitch and OG. Murph, and somebody. don't leave us, Murphy. Murph, don't leave <laughs> no, us, Murph. Murph. Don't, Murph. That's I it. feel like that. I feel like that movie. What's that movie with, um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what's that guy? Hell, uh, 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 all right, all right, all right. What's the, what's that fucking actor? Interstellar. You remember the movie Interstellar? His daughter <laughs> yeah. Murph at the end. Murph, the Murph, don't leave me, Murph. <laughs> uh, yes, Chris. Yes, this team's still gonna win a playoff yes. series or two. Yes. But then, look, I, I didn't say Hector didn't say let's do an emergency podcast on the Knicks to talk about oh the future's over. It's let, let, let's shed a tear for our boy Julius. We got we got to. We gotta this shed is the worst case him. scenario. All of you Nick fans that were on Twitter saying that Randall is done for the season. This season is over. Well, guess what? You got your wish. The wish that you've been hoping for just so you could get interactions on Twitter. Is this <laughs> worth it? Just so you could say, I told yeah. you so? Just so you could get a retweet? Just so you could get a like on fucking Twitter? Is this worth it? Julius Randle being done for the season? All you Nick fans out there that had that take that Randle's not coming back. I hope you stub your fucking toe on the way to the bathroom. I hope when you're opening ketchup, you spill fucking ketchup on your white t-shirt. That's what I hope at the end of the day. <laughs> Tell him, Hector. That's right. Tell him. F all That's right. I, hope, I hope every cup of coffee you have has a fucking <laughs> hole on the top of it. So when you pour it, the shit spills on your shirt. Fuck you, okay? Calm down. Calm down. It's going to be okay. Calm down. But this also, you know what? Since you're already throwing it out there, for those of you that are like, oh, Julius sucks in the playoffs. We don't need him. Well, you're welcome. Now he's not here. What excuse do you have now? You got, you got your wish. All of the Randall haters that were saying, oh, well, he's not going to do nothing in the postseason. Well, guess what? He's literally not going to do not nothing. Not going to do a damn thing. Thanks, because thanks he's you. out for the All rest right? of the season. <laughs> I don't even blame just the heat. I blame, I blame the fans that were talking shit on Jew. Oh, okay. And now here we are. You know what? I'm going to drop the open panel link. Drop the open call right at a time. Drop Come up, look, tell us how you're Jer feeling. Come you on. never see you never see Jarrell fucking right? drop, a, drop a curse word. <laughs> but now everybody. if you see Jarrell, I would heck fuck everybody. F everybody. everybody. That's right, Jarrell. Right? <laughs> But like always, if you guys want to come up for the open panel, you're more than welcome to come up and join us on this conversation. As we as we cry and scream, and Murph says he needs bad karma. Absolutely, I know Razel the Great may still be in the chat, but I'm throwing out the bad karma and bad <laughs> energy to you guys. Well, actually, hold on. I, I saw. Was it Jerry? I think it was Jerry. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Oh, I'm talking about Russell the Great. <laughs> Russell the Great with the $10 chat. super chat. I love my guy. He said, <laughs> I love you guys. I'm a native New Yorker, born in the BX, but never been a Knicks fan. Sorry, I don't root for losers. LOL. Jalen is him, but this is sad. I want to get a full string for the playoff. Listen, Razil, you know it's all love over here, especially when you say you're from the X, my guy. Appreciate you like always. Thank Appreciate you for the $10 that. super chat. Thank you for always tuning in, even though we have a different opinion when it comes to our basketball team. Yeah, um, he, what you he, got he on the screen, rocking, so. He was rocking with us this morning, too, in the uh, positivity this morning. Yes, yes. It's and cool. talking about positivity, we got over 250 people rocking with us right now. If you guys are on Instagram, if you guys are on Facebook or X, 
click the link in the bio and come on join us over here on YouTube because we have one of the greatest YouTube communities that is out there over here at the Morning Brew Sports. We are the original Knicks Morning Show. We are the original Yankees Morning Show. The original home for Jets content. The original home for Mets content. We're going to have a Liberty Show also. I'm just throwing stuff out there because I am in the zone. Stop it. Stop Stop talking. Look, look, even Jerry put this tweet out. I just saw it. Jamie Yacquez will forever be my least favorite player because of this. It's true. I can't stand the heat, but I, I do like some of their fans like Raziel. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Chris I mean, is backstage. Josh Hart's cousin. What the hell happened with Julius? Uh, we're cursed, brother. We're cursed, <laughs> man. Um, we finally put it together, right? You know, mm-hmm. took years of uh, Leon Rose making these moves. You know, we got the picks now. Um, you know, we got good players. We, we gave some good guys some contracts for, for the first time in a long time. And everything looked up, man. And then look what happens. I mean, uh, prayers to Julius, man, because at the end of the day, people killing him. But I, he tried, bro. Like, he could have yeah. got that surgery from the door and mailed it in. Like, he tried mm-hmm. his best. And, yeah. you know, obviously it was to the last minute. Like, he could have probably made this decision a week or two ago. This decision mm-hmm. could have been made. But you can tell, like, he, he literally brought it to the last New York minute and said, yo, I'm going to try my best. And, you know, it didn't work out. Um, shout out to the fans that were uh, hoping for this shit to happen. Um, shout out to you mm-hmm. guys. I got, y- yeah, I got what y'all wanted, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it sucks, man, because even my son, like, my son has never really gotten to see a, a good Knicks team like this. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, he had all the hopes in the world. Like, we having conversations like that. We, you know, we talking Easter Conference Finals now, and you know that all that kind of well, hold on, Chris. I'm not sorry to cut you off, but no, your you family, good, your family at this point, that door is always open for you. So I feel comfortable saying, "Hold up," because I feel like the, the, the rest of that statement was going towards the we don't have a chance at the ECF. I'm gonna stand on the same ten toes I stood on yesterday, and I accepted it. My I was praying and hoping for Julius to come back, but we were all accepting that he possibly wasn't, and hopefully OG is still coming back. Chris, and I agree. I'm still going to believe that we can win in these playoffs, bro. If OG's here with this squad and what we have, yes, unfortunately without Julius, but I still think we can pull shit off this season, man. So a couple of weeks ago, Eddie asked that question, like who was more important to come back to our success? And I said OG, right? Like it mm-hmm. has to be OG because he's got to come back. Um, and again, if OG comes back and Hart plays the way he does, Grimes plays the way he does, we got Mitch back, Hardenstein's been great, mm-hmm. Brunson is him, like Brunson's going to be Brunson. Uh, DiVincenzo continues to do his thing. I I see it still. Um, yeah. I see it Easter Conference Finals. Um, with Randall, I think we win at Easter Conference Finals. Without him, maybe we don't, right? Um, but, yeah, I still got faith in my boys. It just sucks, like, to see some of the some of the comments from people wishing bad on Randall, wishing bad on OG. Like, these dudes is trying, bro. You think they don't – you think Randall want to be hurt? Like, OG want to be hurt? Like, they don't want to be hurt. They they seen what they can do together. Real, you know, very small sample size, but, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I'm not one of those people that's going to jump on the guy when he's down, man. He's one of our guys. He's he's New York bred, man. So yeah, it, it sucks. Uh, okay. I'm having a tough morning with this one, man. This I know, Chris, and I'm I'm yeah. right there with you. How about this, the this... shade I'm getting in the chat? Pull it. We got two, we got two folks in the chat that right? I gotta bring up right now. My guy Rich in the chat, Jinx Rich in the chat. Stop capping. Listen, I don't think there's any Nick fan that out there that's not that's not gonna say we don't need Julius Randle in the playoffs. Of course, we definitely need Julius Randle in the playoffs, Rich. Just know that I'm not saying that, Chris not saying that, and my guy Celso is not saying that. Definitely and I know Julian that. Blum is like, stop no, smoking man. the rocks. It's over. Laughing my ass off, JK. Bro, JK. Listen, not- if I gotta, <laughs> if I gotta stand on business. There's two things. T- I've always told you. There's two things that get me out of the bed every morning when I wake up. One, every morning when I wake up, I want to make sure I look better than Phil Porter every day when I wake <laughs> up and I look in the mirror. And the second thing, I love pissing off Eddie Presti. And yesterday, Eddie said the Knicks weren't going to make it far in the postseason. Well, guess what? I'm standing on business today, and I'm still with that same energy. Eddie Presti, go fuck yourself. We're going to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's how I'm feeling right now. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat. We got over 315 people rocking with us right now. If you guys can, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for your boys. Yeah, So and, and let's go ahead, Chris. Finish up. Nah, because I was, I was going to say, so, and I get it, right? So the playoffs is different, right? It's a seven-game yeah. series. We're playing the same team. But at the same time, bro, like, 
Was we supposed to beat the Kings? Was we supposed to beat the Magic? Was we supposed to beat Denver? No. With the healthy Embiid, was we supposed to beat the Sixers by 36? Come on. Oh. Like, have some faith in this team. You know, um, K, uh, K Perk has been saying it all year. To score 100 on the Knicks, you got to work, bro. The defense mm. tenacity is still going to be there. Now, obviously, mm. we're missing a weapon. But they've bought in this entire time. Like, when we lost OG and Randall, I'm pretty sure everybody said it's over. Was it over? Mm. No. We kept climbing those rankings. So, again, like, I, it's not about capping. It's not about smoking rocks. I only smoke bud, people. Um, nah, like... At the end of the day, the it's about believing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's about believing in your boys, believing in Tibbs. Like, again, we should be a playoff team, I mean, a playing team right now, or even worse, with all the losses we had between Mitch, OG, and Randall. We missed Brunson for a little bit of time, and we kept the foot on the gas. So, like, if y'all don't believe in our team, go to the Nets. Go to the Nets. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the thing, right? Listen, it's we, we, we can sit here. We're not going to tell anybody in this chat Period. All 350 of you in the no, building, we're not going to tell. I love y'all. You know, I'm just hurt. Right. No, I get it, Chris. But no, that's what we, I was going to say, we, though. Like, I see people in the chat. We're not here to tell everybody how you should fan. Your fandom is your fandom, right? I, I love seeing people that will sit there and be like, oh, it don't matter if Julius is back. Julius sucks in the playoffs. But those same people right now, oh, my God, we're going to lose the because the, Julius isn't here. You, you've been saying that shit for two seasons that you didn't want Julius sure. here. Now, now you're gonna cry because Julius is out. What ha- what is it? What was it? What have you done for me lately? Or you don't know what you got till it's gone. This is those yep. situations, right? So again, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna try to be positive. I'm gonna still look at the fact that our team has done what it's done without Julius there. Yes, is the playoffs that much harder for us? hundred percent. But this whole season has been harder for us because of injuries, because of everything. I'll still stick on the fact that yes, having OG is a big deal. We need him back. We see how both groups run when OG is on the floor. Do I think it's going to be rough without OG? We've said it a million times. Yeah, well, then now you're talking about, yo, that first round is going to be tough. But I I can't sit here and and speak and say that after this news, that means we're not going far. Sorry, you're not going to get that from me, bro. You're not. Listen, listen, I'm trying to find the silver lining when it comes to positivity. And I know you're Mr. Mr. Captain of Positivity, but right now, it's 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 hard as a Knicks fan not to feel devastated, right? Especially with these news. Shout out to my guy, uh, Knicks will be 2026 NBA champions. My guy, Ruben Nunez in the chat said, we could have traded for Murray, but now let's wait for next year to get the big fish that never is going to come. And we was having that conversation with Scoop B. When Scoop mm-hmm. B was on with us earlier in the week, Scoop said that the Knicks were entertaining trade conversations around January, around Julius Randle. Once that injury happened, the phone stopped ringing. Nobody's going to trade for a player that is injured right now. And again, it's just all 50-50. I know a lot of Knicks fans, they want to trade Julius Randle. Copy. I I just want to root for who's on our roster. And if we make a move, no matter my favoritism for that player, as long as it makes my team better, that's all I care about at the end of the day. So if trading Julius Randle gets us closest to winning a championship, I'm with it. That's all I want at the end of the day. But I cannot be here, sitting here, and lie to you guys and say that I'm not devastated with this news that just came out because I am completely devastated. I was hoping that Julius Randle was going to come back. Well, we got like seven or six games left of the season. Hopefully we get OG and Anobi back. I know this team has been able to uh, uh, overperform um, or been able to hold the ground down in the absence of our two guys, OG and Julius Randle, but the East is still wide open. I still believe that. I'm not scared of the Boston Celtics. I'm not scared of the Milwaukee Bucks and Doc Rivers or Glenn Rivers over there. I'm not scared of them. We get OG and Anobi back. I still have faith that Jalen Brunson is him, and we can surprise some people in the postseason. And like I said yesterday with Eddie, Jalen Brunson was able to take the Dallas Mavericks and advance them around in the postseason without Luka Doncic, who is arguably one of the top five players in the NBA. So I don't want to hear this argument saying we can't go far when it comes to the New York Knicks. Go ahead. Son. Yeah, Brian Gustin agrees. This team is built to win even if Randall is out. Have some faith in our team. People go Knicks. Listen, and we're not sitting here saying, that's it. We're winning it all. But damn it, you better still believe in that shit. All right, mm-hmm. like we have to. Everybody's like, oh, Mr. Positive. Nah, it's just the fact that have you guys watched our team this season? Like the fact yeah. that we've got through all this adversity, all this bullshit, and still be where we're at right now? 
Come on. Could you imagine this injury on a shitty season? I mean, people would we'd be freaking livid all the time. Mm-hmm. Julius, heal up, bro. Go ahead, Chris. I know we got more people backstage. Let you give your final take, my guy. Yeah, and we're going to bring up Rock and then Johnny next. Go ahead, Chris. All right, so two things. One, I can't wait for the Yanks, bro, so I could be a little more positive today. Um, you know, I'll definitely be on. And um, two, these things are recorded. Um, mm-hmm. If we make the Eastern Conference Finals, stay where you are. If you ain't got no faith in us now, don't don't start ruling when when we uh you know when so we in the Eastern Conference Finals playing Boston and we take them to seven. So stay where you guys are. Uh, keep the keep the non confidence. You non. Uh, I don't want to listen. I don't want to bag on too many people. Fan, how you fan? <laughs> I'm just frustrated. I'm just I'm using more positiveness. Everybody Chris. have a good one. I appreciate you guys. See y'all at twelve, baby. Later, Chris. Appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, Chris. That's my guy, Chris, from Yankees Pod, a.k.a. Josh Hart's evil twin. Now, we got Rock and Johnny backstage. Rock, first time on the open panel. Rock, let me get a thumbs up. Let me know you're ready to rock out with us. My guy, Rock, is ready to go. Shout rock, out to my guy, Rock, bro. I've seen you in the chat for some while. I've seen you going back to the love of the game, actually, brother. Rock's come up one time. Yeah, I've come, I've come yeah, up. Not, been, not, when, not when I've been uh, on the open panel. Yeah, it was when yeah. I was on vacation in Puerto Rico. But, Rock, my guy, how you been? The news is here. Let us know how you feeling, bro. Man, you know, first off, shout out to you guys jumping on this right away. I had to stop what I was doing. To address to address this and get on this, I, I put out a tweet a few minutes few minutes ago. But look, I'm optimistic. It's a next man up mentality. But I just want to say a few things about the Knicks medical staff, right? If you've watched the Scott Layden days, Isaiah Thomas days, whoever, what the Knicks medical, there's 30 NBA teams, right? Just like you rank the teams as being good to worse, the Knicks medical staff needs to be somebody needs to lose their job. And I'm not even talking about Randall, right? Mm-hmm. Look at OG. You could argue that OG came back too early. The medical, I think it was Gilbert Arenas' podcast the other day. And again, I don't listen to everything he says, but they were talking about injuries. And Rashad McCants was talking about some of the injuries that he had and what that medical staff uh, did to him. There's a lot of players in the NBA that don't go to the team medical because of not getting good information. And I'm not saying the Knicks medical staff – didn't provide good information, but one could easily say this man could have gotten the surgery in January. And somehow with the motivation and the mama mentality that Julius Randle has could have been available for the second round or something to that effect. The OG injury, the elbow, right? One could argue that maybe they brought him back too soon. Same thing with Mitch, right? And histo- I could give you other historical things with the, with just the medical staff and what they do. And then also, from a public relations standpoint, we're on a three-game losing streak, and you pick today to drop mm-hmm. this bomb on this this fan base who's been struggling for so many years. All right, uh, real quick, and I want you to keep going. Yeah, Nick Yak, because uh, he just asked. Yes, Woj put it out. It's all on the yeah. timeline. Go check. It's official. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, it's it, it's just disappointing, right? Again, it doesn't change my fandom. It doesn't change the outlook for the season. Um, Because, look, at the end of the day, even if the guy came back, he wasn't going to be the same guy, right? He was trying for about a month now just to get to a point where he could take physical contact, and he couldn't do it. I I don't blame Julius Randle because it's not for a lack of trying. I just question the medical staff and their decision-making process and and how they evaluate their players. Because at the end of the day, they have one purpose. Tell that player what he needs to hear to get him back on the court, right? That's a team medical. Right. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, and again, with the PR, the public relations and, and, and look, the Knicks have never been the best public relations organization ever. But, you know, it, it, it's just why would you drop this news today on a Thursday in the midst of a three game losing streak? When Jalen Brunson dropped 61 on a Friday night and you got the whole <laughs> Right. Facts. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm disappointed in that. But, you know, nevertheless, look, it is what it is. Look, we're going to miss Julius. We're not we're not going to have that second threat. You're going to see that Miami game all over again in the playoffs. Doesn't matter who we're playing. Just so happens Miami is a better defensive team. So it's going to look a lot better. Brunson is going to get blitz. Um, and, mm-hmm. and, and that's really going to come down to it. You know, look, with three point shooting being the way it is and hopefully get an OG back. I think defensively will probably be better, but
But we're going to have yeah. to pray and cross our fingers every day that Jalen Brunson drops 35 a night, right? And Dante and these other guys step up and the bench starts producing for us to be effective in the playoffs. It's really going to come down to the matchup as to where we're going to go this year. Uh, I, I just want to touch on something real quick before we let Rock go, because he brought up a great point talking about the Knicks medical staff. And we've had Dr. Jesse Morse, who's an expert in in, in the field of sports therapy and, and, and sports um, medicine. Um, he worked with NBA teams, NFL teams, and MLB teams. And the conversation we had with him was around Garrett Cole. And he said, fans got to understand, when it comes to these injuries and the team putting out the of this information, it's just a courtesy to us as a fan base. They're letting us know what is going on with that player. So when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, they don't have to tell a squat. But I agree with you because I saw that same thing that you was talking about on Gilbert Arenas' podcast. And one thing that they that they mentioned that stood stood out to me was the fact that these team doctors, who are they hired by? The team. So at the end of the day, whose best interest do they have at, in, in, in their mind, Rock? Do they have the player's best interest? Or do they have the team best interest? Right. Right. Comes down to the team at the end of the right. day. That's why a lot of these players, like Rock's point, they go and get a second opinion from a doctor to have their own practice. Because if you have your own practice, now your medical license and your medical name is going to be on the line if anything pops up out of your diagnosis or your uh, um, however you put it out there. Now, if it's the team doctor, it could just be, listen, this is a team matter. The team told him he was okay. The team is the one that takes the fault at the end of the day, not the doctors or the medical staff. So there's a big difference when you have the team's doctor and when you have your own personal doctor getting a second opinion that has his own livelihood on the line. Just wanted to point yeah, that out and, there real and, quick. And, and we have to reach just, out to, to Jesse Morris to yeah, get him in now on this week. combo for next week. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll just say, you know, I joke about it all the time, Rock, right, where – when it comes to injuries, it feels like it's New York sports as a whole, right? Especially if you're a Yankees fan, if you're a Jets fan, you know, like, especially these last two, three seasons, it's like, you never get the news you want or you, you hear. So you start to realize they hold this stuff close to the chest for a reason, right? I, I, I again, we're n I'm no professional here, right? You know, but in my mind, and, and people think I might be crazy, it just feels like it was one of those ones where the rope ran out. You know, I really feel if we yeah. even had another 14 games, an another week of games, we don't get that news today. You're still holding that hope and letting Julius do his thing, you know. But I think the biggest question now, too, guys, is what we were talking about on yesterday's show on the next morning brew. Now we got the Julius news. That still doesn't change what we have to focus on right now over these next couple of games for the seeding and getting there in the first place. Right. We're talking right now like, oh, Julius isn't going to be here. We still need this squad to do what they got to do starting tonight. And we've got to win at least these four of these seven games. OK, then we can all harp about how much we miss Julius during the playoffs, you know, and see how many of us were right or wrong based on today's reactions. But the, the, the injury bug sucks. We've mm -hmm. dealt with it. But I, I don't know if I'm ready to sit here and say that we're wasting the best season of Julius's no. life or uh, Jalen's no. life. We're yeah. wasting a, a great season. Why are we wasting it? Who yeah, says no, we're wasting it? We can't control yeah. this shit. And, you know, and injury, injuries happen. It'd be one thing if Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle got to the postseason and they were, weren't able to perform. That 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 is content to me wasting Jalen Brunson because you didn't add around him when you could have traded Julius Randle to bring that extra player here with injuries. It's out of your control. No coach is going to be able to game plan to deal with injuries. No front office is going to be able to game plan to deal with injuries. Go, go, go ahead, Rock. Yeah, and you know what? Look, you guys hit on all valid points, man. And, you know, just like when Jalen twisted his uh, knee against the Cavs, you know, it's like a gut punch, right? You know, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, listen, you got to take the punch, right? I always say at the start of the season, back in August of last year, if someone told you the Knicks would be in – you know, one or two games out of third place, would you take it with all the injuries that we've had? The mm -hmm. you know, I think we need to level set our expectations as to who we were right. in August, as to where we are today and what as a fan base we're actually now upset about. We're upset about injuries. When in the last 30 years of Knicks fandom have we ever been upset about injuries? So I've always said next year, I think, is going to be our, our year once we get that last piece of the puzzle. Uh, but it's just a little bit disheartening obviously because you want to go to battle with your guys right mm -hmm. um even julius at 60 percent, he's still on the floor he's still you still have to honor his ability to score the ball and we've seen what happens to jalen brunson when he doesn't have that legit second scorer 
So at the end of the day, look, you know, we'll get over this. We got games to play. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Jig, I, I think, you know, at minimum, we're going to get three games. I think we're going to at least beat the Bulls twice. And we're yeah. probably going to get that Boston game because only because I think Boston's going to rest their guys. Right. Um, so at minimum, I think we're going to get three games. And I think when the smoke clears, we're probably going to be, you know, now knowing that Julius is not coming back, I think the, the fourth seed makes it even more important for us to get if we're going to see Orlando, because that's going to be a hell of physical series. Rock. Had a good all season. You, brother. It's next man up. Rock, man. Right, that was a great take. Appreciate you, bro. All right, guys. We'll be Thank in touch, you. man. All the best. Nice Definitely. shot today. Rock, man. open door policy, bro. Anytime you want to come Yo, back boy. up to talk with us. Great, great, great take. take. Him, That's a five star got... call right there. I just want to say this before we bring up Johnny. And then we got Joe Yoke from Big Nick Energy. We got to bring up Nick fans. Start the movement right now. Danny is the first one to say it. <laughs> Let's get Carmelo Anthony <laughs> back. Let's get we got Mello the side off of Mello. His couch. It hasn't even been a whole hour listen we got over 455 people in the building rock what up, what up, what up, what up, right now if you guys can hit that like button and hit that subscribe button let's run up the likes over there on youtube we're sitting at 50 likes right now so if you guys can smack that like button let's get up to 100 and we are sitting at 4039 subscribers if you're watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button so so key up the next caller bring up johnny let's have the conversation johnny johnny what up johnny going on guys how you holding up man i'm trying i'm trying to be good johnny i'm trying to be hey. good i'm trying not to curse a lot i'm i'm i'm, I'm behaving my guy hey the funny part is he said he's trying not to curse but he had what like 17 f-bombs in the first four minutes of the show i know oh i know God. i'm trying not he to he wasn't <laughs> talk to hey, me Pop, johnny you okay Pop, bro? In a god sent for you guys right now that dude is playing some ball i wanted him to be a met so bad but <laughs> that's for another combo right <laughs> Get your eyes off my um, the Randall thing hurts, man, and it sucks. But, dude, I still put our team in a series with anybody because of that mentality that they have. I think that Brunson, no matter what, will always have us in, in a game. You know, mm -hmm. if it comes, I mean, is Randall a key piece that could have probably taken us over the top? I don't know. You know, so. I, if we, you know, God forbid, if we lost Brunson, then that's when I would be saying it's over. It's done with, like, I don't see us coming back. You know, I think the younger cats that are in the, in the shadows need to step up and they will be, this is going to be a mm. huge test to see what we have. And I know, cause dude, I've been somebody that's been against Rando, right. For a long time, because just, he disappears. Right. Yeah. And it is what it is and all that. I mean, I don't wish him. Um, any bad luck i hope he never got hurt you know what i mean i'm not trying to sound like that but this is going to prove it to everybody say maybe we need to move on from randall you know and keep moving forward with the young nucleus that we have now and keep building off of that yeah oh he is the bigger piece to me that needs to come back you know i i think he's been that missing glue that we've been needing for a very long time so we, I don't know. I, I'm not down in the dumps. I'm. I still believe in the Knicks. I still keep think that positive are, energy. You know. I mean, again, Portal was one of the only dudes that said it from from the jump that we could possibly be in the third seed. And maybe, maybe not. You know. But hey, they gave us that opportunity, and it's been a fun ride. Because I mean, imagine if they sucked. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm saying, bro, like, you know, it, and it's hard. And again, I'm not sitting here just to fake positivity. Yeah, it sucks. Everybody knows. I mean, the, the number 30 for me is my guy, you know, and yeah. I love going back and forth with the people that are always talking bad about you. Right. But again, I'm not saying we're just doing we're going to do well just to say it. I mean, you guys are watching the same team I've watched all season. Right. Like mm -hmm. we're still in this position. Julius hasn't been here. Exactly. OG, yes, he made a, played a major part in a lot of those wins, but then he's also been gone for a while, right? And everybody's like, oh, it's because you don't have them. That's why you lose these last couple of games. No, regardless, we're exhausted. We have a tired mm -hmm. team. Yes, we need the reinforcements. That's why this hurts so much. Not for me just because it's Julius and I love Julius oh. Randle, but because I know how imperative he is for this squad for a playoff run. So that's the biggest part about it that sucks. Yeah, we could be mad about the doctor updates and blah, blah, blah. But we've all felt like this was possibly going to happen. Just sucks that it's 
here in front of our faces. We got to witness it now. I'd rather know about it now than let's just say like the last game going into the playoffs and then they drop this bomb on us. I think it would have hurt even more then, right? Yeah. They- Johnny, I'd rather hear the injury news than see comments like this. Ready? Wait, wait. Oh, and good morning. Oh my God, Eddie was right. That's it. Fuck, the show's over. You know, you know, you know, you know, things are going bad when Nick fans are out here in the streets agreeing (laughs) with our guy Eddie Presti. But um, no, listen, Johnny. Hopefully, we can find some type of silver lining. I'm trying to keep the positive energy. Hopefully, your positive attitude can can help sprinkle along the rest of us Nick fans. But Celso. I don't know, bro. I'm I'm still feeling disappointed. I'm still I'm still feeling well. I will do something like this. Everybody in the chat, drop a 30 for our guy. 30, show some love. Go to 30 Johnny, in the chat. I love you, bro. By the way, appreciate bro, you, Johnny. No hat, Johnny's pretty dope, bro. You got the yeah. suit back, you know. Nice little suit back. back. You know, got the little fade. Like, yeah. keep All right, looking clean, Johnny. Okay. Looking clean. Johnny. Got to make this money somehow, right? <laughs> Look at clean. Appreciate you, Johnny. Fans account is going really well, bro. I'll talk it's to going you. Going great. <laughs> <laughs> got somebody else you want to bring up? Got my yeah. guy, Big. Hold on, Big Hold Joe on. from Big Nick Energy. Shanti. Shanti. Right. Open right. all right. oh, Shanti. Here we go. Everybody dropping it in there. Drop those 30s. 30, 30. Drop my guy. Hold on. I just want to say, mm-hmm. <laughs> Raz, uh, the Great. He put in the chat. Next 2024 equals Barack Obama 2008. <laughs> oh, yes, we can. Absolutely. Positive energy. Let's bring up my guy, Joe, for Big Nick uh, Energy. Oh, Talking yeah. about big energy. Joe, my guy, what it do? How we doing? We're what all up? doing sad, but how we doing anyway? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to have uh, good energy, Joe. Make me smile. Pretty please. I actually want to type something to both you guys in the private chat and then get your real life facial reaction because I can't say this too publicly. Okay. I'm going to tell you when, like, I don't have any sources, but I am a part of Big Nick Energy. We have a couple. Uh, I'm going to type the date that we heard this was probably happening and then tell me your actual response to that. Copy. As you're typing that, I want to shout out Double A with the 499 Super Chat who says, I'm praying. Brunson doesn't feel like he has to go for 50 every night. Hopefully, realize after San Antonio game, we need more team ball. Double A ain't going to argue with that, especially from the team ball aspect. Thank you so much for the 499. I'm going to go and check the private chat to see what. Yeah. Don't say yeah, the day. Don't say the day that lie. No, no, yeah, that make, that make, yeah, that makes sense. That makes uh, sense. We and I didn't know it was because going to be because of surgery or not, but we were told that it was going to. This was this news was coming one way or another. Mm-hmm. Whether it was going to be because of like him doing six eight months of physical therapy or just getting to the point that, and then Bagley finally said two days ago, "Oh, by the way, there was a torn labrum involved or a hurt labrum," and it's like yeah. anyone that's ever watched sports, we all know the like if you have a torn labrum, labrum, mm-hmm. that's not a, a ligament or a tendon you could play with partial tearing. It's going to tear yeah, all the way yeah. if you play with it. It's going to like, mm-hmm. so you hear that and it's like, so they've known like this dude got MRIs in January. This injury happened. What the 27th of January, 29th, one mm-hmm. of yeah. that Miami game was like yeah. to go on with this charade. And then for it to get to us, like, and of a couple other people, like I was messaging Nick and Nader. Cause I knew he knew when I found out and I'm like, why are there just some of us that randomly know this? And we can't even say it. Like, what am I mm-hmm. supposed to do with this information? And it's funny, Joe, because with that date you put in there, we have a group chat, and I won't say what guy it is, but right around that exact same time, we were getting that same, hey, prepare yourself. We were like, so it's isn't it crazy to be part of the content community when we actually find out stuff? And they're like, oh, by the way, here's this bombshell. You can't post it. You can't use it for engagement. You have to wait for us to say it. I get it, CAA. Yeah, you want all the engagement of money. It's all Woj and we're all yeah. behind. But you know, Woj is uh, he's a client for CAA. Of course, you got to push out the CAA guys first. But no, when it when listen, when the injury came out, when the news came <clears throat> out, that type of injury, a torn labrum. If you got if you're if you're a baseball fan, you understand that when that type of injury first presents itself, you don't see the torn labrum just because everything is is inflamed around that torn labrum. So you have to wait about three to four weeks for the swelling to go down and get a second MRI and you will see the torn labrum or whatever damage that is to that labrum. So you always got to wait. So he may have gotten the injury in January, may have gotten the initial MRI screening or MRI uh, imaging back in January, but the team medical staff, they ain't going to know nothing 
until the inflammation goes down. And that normally takes about three to four weeks, depending on how bad the inflammation and the swelling is. So as much as I want to beat down on the Knicks medical staff, because there's a lot of stuff to beat them down on. It's just Joe, like I think this is a lot on Randall. Yeah, I think it's it, a lot of Randall trying to get back. Mm -hmm. So but if you if you if, if you look at the type of injury and normally if he was to have the surgery, well, he's going to have the surgery if not if he ha already has an avid. But with that surgery, it's going to be a six to, to seven month recovery time. If you do the math right now, from April, six to seven months, that's November. So that's basically the beginning of the season. So we're going to have to have uh, another start of the season waiting for Julius Randle to get in rhythm and to find himself. You remember how bad it was to start this season after having ankle surgery? Mm -hmm. It's going to be the same thing next year <laughs> when he's coming back off of this injury. I was going to say, shout out State from Harlem, because if there's a negative thing to push and he's he's all about it and it doesn't and it involves RJ Barrett pro propaganda, he's on it. That those <laughs> those civil rights numbers that we're going to be getting in December is oh, just yeah. going to be happening oh, all man. over again because this guy's coming yeah. off a of torn labrum. <laughs> Can you believe this guy is averaging 10 and 10, 8 and 6 on this is the 40, guy that's all NBA on seven and a half percent shooting? <laughs> uh, I can't oh my god, guys. but that's why I kept coming in here and I'm like, yo, OG's coming back, OG's coming back. Like, that's not the guy you got to worry about. Like, OG's always been coming back. I mean, yeah, oh, we didn't expect him to get re hurt or like for the inflammation to come back so soon after he got the surgery, but like. His thing's always been he's going to be ready for the postseason. Mitchell Robinson's already back. The guy that people had the most faith in because people think of Randall as this warrior. People yeah. think of Randall as being like this ultimate tank, this guy that doesn't want to miss a game. New slot, none of them want to miss games. I, I think we got to remember, none of these players want to miss games at any point. Mm -hmm. The professional athletes, right. they get paid to be out there. They make more money for themselves, for their family. They get a legacy the better they do. The longer they play, the more they play. No one gets a legacy for playing 25 games in a season. They, unless those 25 games all happen in the playoffs, which what are the odds of that? Slim to none. So we knew, like I knew OG was coming back. I'm sure you guys, what, same thing with the Randall news. I'm sure you already knew that OG was going to be coming back at some point or another. That was never, never an issue, never a complaint. So it's like arguing with people online without being able to say, I actually know. Arguing with people in live chats or group streams without being able to say, I have, we have sources I actually know. It's just like... It's frustrating to be on that side of the argument because it's like you sound like the – you're like a negative person. Like Eddie's like, this season's yeah. over. I don't think the season's over because we still have Jalen Brunson, OG, and an OB and a bunch of Villanova guys. So I don't think the season's over. I still think we can get to the Eastern Conference Finals. And I was telling you this on your show and my show. I think we lose to the Celtics either way. So it doesn't matter to me. Um but this is just where we're at now. So I'm glad that I don't have to keep fighting with people that OG and Anobi isn't the guy you have to worry about. You're worrying about the wrong guy. I'm sorry. We all think Julius Randle is a tank, myself included. But you dislocate your shoulder and then it comes out you have a torn labrum. I don't care if you have stem cells from Germany with anabolic steroids with the other bolic steroids. I don't even know both names. If you have all three of those, you're still missing this season with a torn labrum. So that's where we're at. It sucks that we're here. Yeah. I still think we can make the UCF though. Let's yeah. go, Joe. Let's we go, love Joe. you, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, you guys. Go follow our boy Joe Young with the BK Nick that big energy. energy. Let's that was go. a nice improv surprise pop up episode, right? You see, but it, 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 I don't know if I can agree with the sentence, right? It was nice that the community is in here, all 500 yeah, people rocking guys, with yeah. us. The purpose yeah. of this stream is not nice. Us. Okay, the purpose of it. Was not no. nice. No, let's shout out some people. Let's get some That's positive like energy before we get out of here. Sundays is in the building. Love the positivity. Let's go, Knicks. Absolutely. My <laughs> guy, BS Kicks for Life, is in the building. Johnny Jimenez, thank you for that, Johnny. Appreciate you all, like always. And, of course, Big Nick Energy. Make sure you guys go and support their YouTube channel, them on Instagram, them on Twitter. They do amazing work. Shout out. We got some friends over there that work with them. Building Blocks is in the building. VR Diesel is in the building. Nostalgic Nick is in the building. My guy, Jay Savage. 19 Con Man. Salute, salute, salute. Three. We got CT Pittman in the building. He Sean is in the building. My guy, Eric Gonzalez. And I think we got somebody else that popped up backstage. Sierra's in the building. Don't worry. We're going to jump back to the Yanks Morning Brew within the next eight minutes to, 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 to finish that show because we was going to start it. Then we have to do this. But Phil's in the building. 
Fell yo, up. Yo. What up? Yo. What up? Yo. What up? What up? What up? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Smack the like here. button. Smack Earlier. the subscribe button. We're we're over. We're at five hundred people. And we're sitting on fifty eight likes on YouTube. Let's run the likes up. Go ahead, Phil. So I I, I was listening and watching, and I had to hop up real quick because I heard. Our previous guest say, these guys are professionals. They want to play. None of them want to not play. And I had to debunk that thing because there is a guy by the name of Ben Simmons in the NBA. And we all know that man don't want to play. Like I don't, don't, I don't listen. I, I, listen, Ben Simmons but, is dealing with mental issues. I don't think it's fun yeah. to pick on somebody that deals with mental issues. So I'm not going to go there with Ben Simmons. I, I don't think it's fun to pick on somebody that has mental issues like Ben Simmons. That's just I, me personally. I, I, I agree. I don't think I, I. I think he's got confidence issues, but I also don't think mental. He wants to it goes play. to mental. I don't. I don't. If we can not not pick on Ben Simmons because of his mental issues, pretty please. Okay. Anyway, um. So when it comes to the Knicks, I feel like this is a interesting situation. Um. Mm -hmm. Many people shout out to guys like Big Mo. Um, he's been saying it for months that Julius Randle was not coming back. Like we needed to embrace ourselves as Knicks fans to not expect him to come back. Um, and so it, it's unfortunate. I don't think that people who don't believe that we can go as far as we could have in the beginning. Um, I, I, I don't think that they are being negative necessarily yeah. i think that a lot of people are being realists you know like we are a better team with julius randall that's the bottom line um we are a better team with him i don't think it's negative to say that you know the chip is out of the question or for people to believe that you know that, that this is a huge issue because i agree with them do i think it's possible anything's possible um you know th this team fights this team loves to play hard this team loves to you know, show effort day in and day out. So yes, anything is possible. But when you look at some of the other teams that, you know, are there, we don't have another bucket getter alongside Julius Randle. That's a for sure night in night out bucket getter. Yes. There are some really good games that we see out of Donovan, uh, uh, Dante DiVincenzo. There are great games that we see from miles McBride, but with Julius Randle, you're guaranteed a 18 to 25 point per game performance with those other guys it's hit or miss it could happen it could be a 30 point dante night or it could be a six point dante night just depends on how things go so to be able to compete with some of these teams that we have to compete against and this is not last year's playoffs this is this year's and all the teams are way way better than they were previously i think it's going to take a lot for us to advance you know past the first second round um, so I don't think people are being negative. I think they're being a little more realist. We are going to miss Julius Randle. Um, to me, this is something that, you know, like you said, it takes three, four weeks to assess this, but it's been way longer than three, four weeks, you know? So I really wish that he would have had the surgery a little bit earlier instead of, you know, like pushing it to back against the wall playoff time. Um, because let's say we make it to the second, third round, possibly having Julius come back in that second or third round would have been, you know, a blessing as opposed to Julius Randle not coming back at all. Um, so we need OG to compete at all. Um, honestly, it makes me a little bit worried um, that we waited this long to find out that Randle wasn't coming back and we're seeing similar silence when it comes to, you know, when OG's coming back. So mm -hmm. I hope OG comes back because if OG doesn't come back, I really do not see us getting very far in the playoffs. Um, and that would be unfortunate for the guys that have had the star studded seasons that they've had. Um, so, you know, I wish Julius Randle the best. Uh, I, I hate this for him because I honestly don't know what this means moving forward with him and his Nick, you know, career uh, with, with solidifying a bag to be able to, you know, extend his contract and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I really don't know if there's enough evidence to, you know, have an organization say, yeah, he deserves the bag, um, especially with these injuries coming up. So that's two postseasons, two injuries. That's very, very concerning, unfortunately, for a player that has been kind of a steel horse for us for so long. So I wish him the best, um, but I don't want people to feel like, you know, anyone here on this panel believes that, 
just because you are uncertain of how well the Knicks can do here, that that's a question of how real of a fan you are or not, because right. there, there is real reasons to have your doubts at this point. Yeah. And, you know, that's the risk that the front office, they, they took a gamble on it because in January, if you if you would have had that uh, surgery back when the injury first happened, that type of surgery, the recovery time is six to seven months. So he would have not been able to come back for the postseason. So that's the gamble that, that you take as an organization. Hopefully the swelling and stuff comes down. But then it came up afterwards for a second MRI that he had a labrum tear. So once you got a labrum tear, you already know your season is already done. They should have announced it a couple of days ago. Um, like uh, I forgot who said it. Uh, like Rock said it earlier. It's just <laughs> – at a, at, a, at a moment when the Knicks are losing three games in a row and you throw it out there that now Julius Randle is going to be out for the rest of the season, it's just put a bad damper and a bad mood when it comes to the team and how the fan base is feeling right now when it comes to that, Phil. Um, we got somebody else backstage, Jay Boogie, the closer. I'll throw it over to Phil one more time to get his take on that before we bring Jay Boogie up. So I want to address something first from C.T. Pittman. He said two injuries. That wasn't his fault, though, Phil. I completely agree. I completely mm. agree that these aren't his fault. But how many times have we seen injuries cause a team to have to rethink their future? You know, rethink what happens moving forward. Like, that's an unfortunate part of sports. You know, it, it's not, hey, we're going to ding you because you got injured. But because of your injury history we have to move different moving forward. So yes, mm -hmm. that's not his fault. That's unfortunate situations, but injuries do present issues moving forward. Um, yeah. And so, you know, going into these games, to me, it's even more important, unfortunately now, you know, to make sure that we don't fall in the seating, you know, because we talked about like, if we fall back in the seating and we get Randall and we get um, OG back, we mm -hmm. could still contend with anyone. Well, now we know we don't have Randall. So yeah. the last thing we want to do is fall in the seating in these last few games and then have a first round exit against Boston. Because as good as some of our guys are, especially if OG's not 100%, and now he's bearing the weight of both his role and Randall's role, Boston's not someone we want to see in the first round of the playoffs. Oh, you know, okay. so we need to fight very, very hard in these next few games to at least be in, you know, competition with the Cavs or, you know, anybody but Boston at this point. Um, even Milwaukee, I'd be fine with compared to Boston because Milwaukee's having some issues right now. Mm -hmm. But we have to fight and end the season strong if we're going to compete. Bogey needs to have games like he had this last one every single night. He has to be able to give us those kind of games. He's proven that he can, so he has to make sure that he does these 16 to 20 point, you know, per game nights to make sure that we don't fall in the seating. So that's my hope is that we could stay at least in good seating into the playoffs so that we have a chance in the first round. OG can get stronger and healthier in that first round to play in the second round. Um, but either way, I'm thankful for what the team has done. It would be unfortunate to see us, you know, bow out in the first round. That's not what I want to see at all. So here's to hoping we make it to the second round. I'll be happy, you know, that that we compete in the second round, not that we get spanked, but that we compete in the second round at this point. Um, so shout out to everyone that's rocked with the Knicks. Shout out to everyone that's rocked with us, everyone that came on. We got 500 people right now. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we appreciate you all. Um, and then I'll let Jay Boogie come up and take us home. And, you know, you made Double A happy because Double A is always happy whenever he sees Phil the Prophet on the panel because Double A is tired of me, Double A is tired of Eddie, Double A is tired of Jigger Man Portal as well. But I'm going to bring the closer, a.k.a. J Boogie, to take us home and hopefully he can make us feel better. And, Phil, if you're making a cocktail over there, please send one my way because I need one after this depressing news that came out. Matter of fact, Phil, you, you'll be ex you, actually you'd be proud of me. Last night. I went out with Alex, you know, because she has her whole Inwood Film Festival. We went to a place by over here. What type of drink do you think I ordered when I went to the bar? I'm saying old fashioned. That's what I'm talking about. My guy, hey. Phil, he is schooling me. He's giving me some class. He showed me about the old fashioned and how to properly ask for one. But now I got to bring up Jay Boogie to close it because I'm still drunk off of that old fashioned from last night. Jay Boogie, <laughs> take us home. <laughs>
<laughs> and you ain't even gonna let me get my laughing about you being drunk, huh? <laughs> yeah. Salute, salute, salute. Three capital S's, man. Blessings, health, happiness to everybody. You know, I say all the time when I come on and I and on anywhere I speak, you know, we pray for anything that you're going through, but we also pray that you get to get through it. Those are two different scenarios, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about the New York Nick team and us as the fan base, we've been we don't got through a lot of things in life. This is something else that we have to, you know what I'm saying, tally up and get through. Now you know and understand that he's not coming back. So that right there should light fire up under the team. You know what I'm saying? You know, in basketball games, you, you get a second win, you know, and, and you finish out a game. Now you got to get a second season win and get a playoff win and get ready to go. You know, everybody needs to be turning up their games, you know what I'm saying, and and, and putting on their best, best, best effort. The league is going to have to beat us now. It's no more worry. You better make sure that you beat us because now these guys is going to give you another hard game. You know, I believe in have faith in this team and everything you know it's unfortunate what happened with julius because we all wanted to see us all at a complete healthy situation we all wanted to see tom with a healthy team and we all wanted to see this team get to the eastern conference but that doesn't mean that we can't go out there and perform right now that doesn't mean we can't go out there and reach goals each and one of these guys on this team have their own personal goal so if you take your personal goal and you put it inside the team now you got a team goal always say team together everybody always matters Everybody matters amongst this situation. Don't let the situation bring us down no matter what. This has been a great season. You found out a lot of things about this squad, and we're still playing. It's not over with. We got plenty more games to go, and we got the playoffs to come. But I'm going to say it again. Whoever we're facing, you better make sure that you beat us because any type these guys get any more, you know, encouragement, any more belief, any more faith, it's in, any more, you know what I'm saying, knowing that they can do what they got to do against any other team, it's only going to make them stronger, you know what I'm saying? So everybody stay strong, keep believing, keep, keep having faith amongst the team. This is a great season going on, and you're only going to get more, you know what I'm saying? You found out more what Deuce can do. You found out, you know what I'm saying, what Dante came over here, what he can do. You finding out what Precious can do. You finding out what Hartenstein can do. Unfortunately, he came through injuries, but sooner or later, you needed to know what these guys can do, because you wouldn't have been able to find out what these guys are doing. These guys would have got traded. These guys would have been doing what they're doing right here right now amongst somebody else you know what i'm saying so be pay be patient let the team do what they gotta do continue on having support continue on having love let's get through the regular season you know what i'm saying and let's get ready for the playoff and yeah we still get ready to put that symphony anthems out so don't even ask me if we shutting that song down i don't got that call no way i'm not shutting down no song we need that song the knicks might need the motivation the fans might need it i'm here to entertain the fans i believe in doing what i do is for the people you know what i'm saying so yeah Let's get ready to get ready for the playoffs. Salute, salute, salute. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Man up, squad. Man up, man. Everybody have a blessed day, man. Get you a good meal, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy life, man. Do something different about yourself instead of moping around about the Julius injury. We all know it was a 50-50 situation, you know what I'm saying? So now, you know what I'm saying? You got the news. Let's move on to something different, man. Salute, salute, salute. Three capital S's, man. Salute. That's the so, dog, so, Jay Boogie, right Jay there. Boogie. Go ahead, Phil. You, you said some great things, you know, yes, I, I think the main A thing lot of great is you things. Said we need this team to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to step up and be together right. in this moment. And I think that's the key. I think mm -hmm. Julius Randle being out can do two things. It can cripple us or it can help us shock the world. Because right. if you think about it, a lot of teams are going, oh, let's go against the Knicks. Randle's not coming back. They can see mm -hmm. this as a positive for them, but mm -hmm. we can flip that. And what right. it's going to take, though, is you know that Jalen Brunson is going to be double and even times probably triple team. Mm -hmm. He needs to make the right decisions. In right some decisions. of these games, he still try to find a way to draw contact or force the shot, and it's not going to work in the playoffs. He's got to find a way to get the other guys involved and mm -hmm. unlike last year in the playoffs where his only option was to pass to a Josh Hart at the three-point line, he now has actual shooters. He has actual players around him that he can mm -hmm. re re rely on, but he has to do that. This is going to be a big showing for Jalen Brunson to lead, but also rely on the tools that he has around them. 
he has to be able to do both. He has to be able to perform, but also trust the guys around him. And those guys need to step up. So yep. another positive is that even when Julius Randle went down after that OG mm -hmm. trade, we right. were still a force to be reckoned with. If OG can come back with that same strength and that strength, uh, same vigor that we had before, we could still pull something off that could shock, shock a lot of people. But Thanks. our guys have to play, like you said, as a team. team this can't basketball. be each person trying to put the team on their back because that burden is fine for a game. But in a seven-game mm -hmm. series, it is way too much of a burden for someone to carry. So they mm -hmm. got to play as a team, like you said. So if we do that, then we could still show a lot of people that this is not a loss of a season. Like a lot of people are saying in Twitter spaces, this is not a loss. We saw That's some right. people in the chat talking about the growth of McBride, the growth of Don, uh, uh, Dante, the growth uh, uh, of Isaiah Hartenstein. All these things are victories and help yep. us make decisions in the offseason. But let's see if we can shock people by playing mm -hmm. as a team when so many other teams that we're going to be playing against are going to be playing as a superstar with other guys instead of playing as a team. So salute and to you, Jay Boogie. I want to piggyback off of my brother Phil. Yeah. I just want to piggyback off of what my brother Phil just said. One second, I'll throw it over to you, Boogie, and we got to wrap things up. But for me, I said it on yesterday's show, Phil. Mm -hmm. We still have Jalen Brunson. And yeah. Jalen Brunson is still that point guard that was able to take the Dallas Mavericks who were missing Luka Doncic and advance them one round in the postseason against Donovan Mitchell. All he had on that team was Reggie Bullock and Tim Hardaway Jr. You can't nobody can even name me the rest of the starters that they had that season. I still have faith in Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson is still him. Go ahead, Jay Book. Yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, it's two teams, it's two teams this week, this weekend. Two teams that are playing this weekend, you know what I'm saying, that people thought they was not going to be right there in the position where they are. And both of them are right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. NC State twice. The men mm. and the women. Them people right there on that on both of them teams believe and have faith within themselves. And that's why, you know, they're in the position where they are at right now because they work hard and they forget all the doubters, the naysayers and everything. They believe within themselves and they mm -hmm. formed up a team that is hard to beat right now. You have to beat those two teams and they won't even ranked. They won't even mm -hmm. ranked. So just because this situation has happened that doesn't mean that the season is ended. It's already over, man. Listen, let's. Just watch, man. Everybody just keep watching the Knicks, man. Let's start the night, man, with Sacramento, man. That's right. That's right. Jay Boogie, appreciate you, Unc. I'll Go close ahead. on Go this. Ahead, Phil. Nostalgic Nick. Now teams will only have to key in on Brunson. No, that's not true. Because if you look at it, we've been playing without OG and Randall anyway. So this is not new. It's not new that people are going to key in on Brunson. You know, we've been contending like we've seen in the chat in that three to five spot, even without those two guys. So now with one of them at least coming back, God willing, in OG, mm -hmm. that frees up Jalen Brunson a little more than he's been these last few months. So, yes, we can harp on the fact that they're going to, you know, double team and, you know, attack Brunson. But that was going to be the case no matter what. You know, now we know Julius Randle's out. We still have to hope that OG comes back. It's the second person that frees up. Jalen Brunson just a little more than he's been these last few weeks and at least see what happens. We got to have faith in the guy that has taken us this far. Like we have to have some kind of faith because Jalen Brunson has done all this with an injured squad. So we got to give him some credit. Phil, I I miss having you on the panel because Eddie just just had negative energy, right? And 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 Eddie um he's just negative negative vibes. You come on the panel, first of all, HD quality, 1080p. I see it. High screen, crystal quality, and also you don't have you don't you don't have that negative energy like Eddie does. Eddie may have those fancy suit jackets, but deep down he has a tiny little cold heart that's just really dark and just always has bad vibes. I love Eddie though. At the end <laughs> I, of the day, I, I try I try to be in that middle. You know, my 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 brother's a little too positive for me. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I need six coffees to watch his morning show. Like, it's just too much for me. Like, I have any crack cocaine or six coffees. He's got both in his monster. So that's why he can do that. Eddie, 
makes me feel like I need to listen to Nirvana in a dark black room. And so I try to find that balance of Nirvana depression of Eddie and way too positive Celso. So thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate everybody in the chat. Yes, Sierra, Phil, and Celso are actually blood brothers. I was adopted and then dropped off at the fire department when I was in kindergarten because I used to pick on Phil all the time and I used to steal his Lunchables. And that's why I'm by myself right now. But shout out to everybody that's in the building. Appreciate you guys like always. I'm your guy, Hector. My guy, Phil. My brother, Phil, joined me this morning. It was a pleasant surprise. And Celso's backstage just looking at the camera, and he's not going to come up to say bye to everybody. There he is. He came up to say bye. I got to go talk Yankees. It's almost that time. Yeah, we got a Yankee show. Stay on the channel. Go watch the Yankees yes. right now. Yes, hit the like. Can, hit I the also, can I also end it with one last thing? Go ahead. Let's go get this W tonight. Let's go, Nick. Thanks I love God. you, Julius. I'm sorry you're injured. I miss you. Yeah, so prayers bad. up for Julius, please. Pray prayers up for recovery. Retweet. Everybody tag Kendra. Let him know that we still yes. got love for him. That we still love you, are Juju. supporting and rooting for him and want him to have a you know healthy and quick recovery. So prayers for his surgery and everything like that. Appreciate Go you all. Go